gotta pull out my phone for this one, man. It's a long one. Hello, all of my little Subaru fiend friends, like myself. I have devised a list, a master document, a master creative list of every turbo Subaru chassis engine rebuild list by part number for you fellas. So I've had this question a lot over the years of people who are going into doing their first rebuild, doing their first big blow up job and they gotta put a new engine in there and they wanna DIY it. I'm all about the DIY stuff. That's why I'm giving you guys all, I give you guys like all the information for free. It's, it's dumb to have to pay for that stuff. So I've, div I've created a list of every turbo Subaru chassis, STI, WRX, Forrester XT, Legacy, GT, Outback. I wanna go over this list with you guys. This list will be down below in the video description for you guys, so if you need to reference this for your own builds, you most definitely can. Now, am I saying this, is, this list is the only way? No, but this is the comprehensive, proper way to repair your car with these parts if your car does do a big blow up job and you need to replace things. So before we get into the list, what I wanna to touch on first is when you have an engine failure, a short block failure, a cylinder head failure, what happens is you get metal debris in the oil, which is the big thing that really doing the blow up job doesn't necessarily kill your engine. What tends to kill your engine a little bit more outside of just the big blow up job, like the big blow up job is gonna kill your engine, but outside of the big blow up job, the metal that gets sent through the oil system is re what really starts to do some damage. When you, you're sending fragmentations of metal, whether that's your piston, your rod bearing, your main bearing, your cam lobes, uh, it, anything, it can be anything, and it gets into the oil, it's gonna start scoring up everything in there, whether it's the main line, whether it's the cam journals, and, and it's so difficult to clean out, hence why I suggest every oil component be replaced. Whenever I do rebuilds for people, we won't re-clean things. Can you? Yes, you can to an extent, but there's never a 100% guarantee that you're gonna get all the metal out. It takes the smallest little piece of metal again to take out a brand new engine. I've seen it happen with people in the past who have tried to skip by and save a little bit of money. Now, in addition to having the parts lists for all of these cars down below in the description, coming soon, Rally Sport will be having a feature on their site that'll have build packages that we have help them develop for you guys so that way you can go in there enter your own car and it'll just pull up a complete rebuild package from this list for what we are working on so keep an eye out for that i don't have a hard date of when that's going to come out but when it does come out i will link that down below for you guys as well so let's start with the 04 to 06 sti at this point if you're going through and you do a blow up job and you're rebuilding for every ej based car i'm gonna suggest a type ra short block if you are shooting for more power, then obviously get a short block that is more rated for your power goals. But for the, the average Joes out there who just wanna get their car back on the road, get it running, turn it up a little bit, have a little bit of fun with it, Type RA short block is what I'm gonna suggest. It's the most budget friendly option. You can get them for around 2000 to $2,200, somewhere in that price range. So it's gonna be a little bit more affordable for most people out there. For oil pumps, we have an OEM 11 millimeter oil pump. For any 2.5 liter turbo EJ, I'm gonna suggest an OEM 11 mil oil pump. With those oil pumps, I do suggest you take off the backing plates, you pre-pack them with some Vaseline or some assembly lube, whatever you have on hand, and red Loctite the backing plate screws down because they, they can and most likely will back out at some point. It has happened far too many times in the past and it has taken out too many engines because you'll start dropping oil pressure while you have it all apart and while you're cleaning everything, take out the five screws, red lock tighten them back in, make sure it never comes out. AVCS intake solenoid. So for 04 to 06 STIs, you only have two. They're gonna be on the top of the engine on the intakes. You do not have dual AVCS on these engines, so only single AVCS cars are going to have single AVCS solenoids. It's one per head for the intakes. So you need two of those. Left hand and right hand AVCS cam gears. You can send your used dirty ones out to out front in California. We've had them clean some of ours in the past. They do an awesome job. Um, or if you're on the other hand, most of the time I'll just replace the cam gears with brand new ones. Because it is an ABCS car, oil does flow through those lines and you don't wanna recontaminate a brand new engine with old metal slung debris oils. You're gonna wanna replace your oil cooler because that is one of the ones that's damn near impossible to fully clean out. I don't care if you say you've cleaned them in the past, I don't believe that you've gotten out every speck of old schmoo out of there. So you're gonna wanna pick up an OEM thermostat and an OEM water pump. The OEM thermostat's gonna open at 185 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, OEM water pumps, they're OEM water pumps. Uh, gasket and seal kit, the gasket and seal kit for this 
04 to 06 STI list. Like I said, will be down below for the part number. For timing belts, we're gonna be using Company 23 timing belts for all of these lists. Now, I opted to use Company 23 because it's a more affordable option compared to some of the other ones out there. I know you can get some cheaper. I know you can get some more expensive. Company 23 goes through the same distributor that makes them OEM for Subaru, so you're getting OEM quality with the NTN bearings. Everything's made in Japan. Company 23 is what we're gonna be using. So for the 04 to 06 STI, we're using a COP575 Company 23 kit. Like I said, everything will be down below. With the 04 to 06 STIs, you do have something called half moons on your cylinder heads. On B25 cylinder heads, you've got half moons. It's how Subaru made the heads where they line board the entire head and you've got two little, it's literally a half moon that goes on the back side of the head and you'll seal that down so that way it doesn't leak. I like the IAG ones, they're billet and they're not going to warp like the plastic ones will over time and develop oil leaks. Now, I'm not a huge fan of reusing head bolts. You can reuse, reuse them if you want, if they're still within spec, but for all of these, I'm gonna suggest ARP 2000s. So it's just an 11 millimeter head stud that's gonna make your life a little bit easier. You're gonna want a Grimspeed exhaust gasket kit. A lot of people will think when you buy the gasket and seal, when you buy the gasket and seal kit from Subaru that it's going to come with all of your exhaust gaskets. Most of the time it does not. So you are gonna want a gasket kit for the exhaust, such as downpipe, turbo, up pipe, exhaust manifold, things like that. Uh, NGK 2309 spark plugs, you're gonna, you're gonna want some new plugs. For break-in oil, you can use whatever you want. For break-in, I typically tend to use Modal 10W40. It's a good break-in oil, it's high in minerals, it's high in zinc, all the good stuff that your engine's gonna want. Uh, oil pans, you can reuse your stock oil pan if you feel you have cleaned it thoroughly. Personally, I do not when they do the blow-up jobs. You can either get a brand new OEM pan, but at that point, since you're already doing a rebuild, I would suggest getting IAG or Killer Bees oil pans. You can't go wrong with either one. And then lastly, you're gonna want one tube of Fuji Bond coolant. I left them off of these lists. If you do wanna include coolant on there, you're gonna need between two and three gallons of Subaru Blue. You can get the green. A good way to remember it is if it takes green, it can use green or blue. If it takes blue, it can only use blue. Just use blue, it makes your life easier. So that's gonna pretty much wrap it up for the 04 to 06 STIs for just a general rebuild. Like you're going through your car, these are the basic things that you're gonna need to put the engine back together. The 07 STI is going to be similar, but the only difference in the 07 STI is the gasket and seal kit. It is a different gasket and seal kit on that engine. Now we're gonna jump up to the 08 to 2021. STIs, they're a little bit different than the 04 to 06s. So once again, Type RA short block, OEM 11 millimeter oil pump, OEM oil cooler. It is a different oil cooler part number. Do not order an oil cooler for a GD chassis. It will be different on a VA or a GR. So the part number, like I said, down below. You gotta make sure you're buying the right part numbers for this, otherwise you're gonna get parts that just are not gonna fit. It's gonna be the right part, but for the wrong chassis. GRs and the VAs are dual AVCS engines. So you've got AVCS gears on the intake and the exhaust, and it gets a little bit more expensive to rebuild these because you have more parts to buy. So once again, you're gonna need two of the AVCS intake solenoids. You're also gonna need two exhaust AVCS solenoids. These solenoids are different. The intake and the exhaust solenoids are not the same. The left hand and right hand solenoid for the exhaust are also different. So, like I said, part numbers. Make sure you're ordering these exact. We're also gonna need new intake cam gears as well as new exhaust cam gears because oil flows through the exhaust cam gear as well. You're gonna wanna replace that. You don't want to be sending potentially potential dirty oil from your blow up job with metal debris through your brand new engine. Again, you're gonna want that gasket and seal kit. It is different for the 08 to 21s because you have secondary air injection, a whole bunch of other stuff. It's just a different setup. You're gonna have different gaskets. There's no half moons, that type of stuff. OEM thermostat, OEM water pump. Again, that thermostat is still going to open at 185 degrees. Uh, Company 23 timing belt kit. This is gonna be COP 576. You're gonna want those 11 millimeter head studs. IAG or OEM or Killer B oil pan, whatever one that you're feeling. Grim Speed exhaust gasket kit, again, NGK 2309s, Modal 10W40. Depending on your oil pan, you're gonna need between five and six quarts of that. You're, gonna want, you're obviously gonna need your oil filter. It's linked in the parts list as well. Uh, and another tube of Fuji 3 Bond. You're typically gonna want one tube of Fuji 3 Bond for every engine rebuild you're gonna be doing. You can use RT or per, Permatex RTV Ultra Gray. That is a substitute for it. You can use the black as well. I've used both of them with good results. Never leaks, so you're gonna be good to there. So that's gonna cover the 08 to 21. The main differences between the GDs and the GRs and the VAs is the GR and the VA are going to be dual ABCS. You're gonna have four ABCS solenoids, 
four AVCS cam gears, different oil coolers, that type of stuff. We're gonna go to the 08 to 14 WRX. This is where it's a little bit of, it's a, it's a little bit different. With the 08 to 14 WRX, you do not actually have, you don't have an oil cooler on those engines. So that's one less thing to buy. You can definitely add one if you want to. The water pump is not going to have a provision for the oil cooler. The water pump on the STIs will all have provisions for the oil cooler, but on the 08 to 14 WRX, you will not. If you want to add an oil cooler onto that engine, you will need a water pump for a GR STI, and then you'll need the oil cooler from a GR STI, and then the associated hard lines and the block fitting as well. But once again, Type RA short block, it's 2.5 liter. OEM 11 millimeter oil pump, again, you're gonna need two AVCS intake solenoids. So two solenoids on this one because it is single AVCS and not dual AVCS like the STIs are. You're gonna need your intake AVCS gears. So that's gonna be left hand, right hand intake cam gears. OEM water pump, OEM thermostat. Thermostat's still gonna open at 185 degrees, but the water pump, like I said, is going to be different. It will not have the provision on it for the oil cooler. If you have an 08 to 14 WRX, and you want to add one because you're doing a rebuild because your car did the big blow up job, just go up to the 08 to 21 list for the STIs, grab the part number for the oil cooler, grab the part number for the water pump and you're gonna use those and then you're just gonna have to find the, lit the fittings and the lines that you're gonna have to order, which it's like three hoses, one hard line and one block fitting. Uh, Company 23 timing belt kit, again, COP575 for that one. ARP 11 millimeter head studs, Grim Speed exhaust gasket set, NGK 2309 plugs, modal 10 W40 braking oil, it's gonna be five to six quarts. Oil filter, oil pan of your choosing, whether that's OEM, IAG, or Killer B, and then one tube of Fuji Bond. Now we're gonna give you Forrester friends some love. We're gonna be talking about the 04 to 05 Subaru Forrester XT. This is 04 to 05 only. For these, once again, Type RA short block, OEM 11 millimeter oil pump, two AVCS solenoids, two cam gears, both intake. Again, it is a single AVCS engine. You're gonna want your gasket and seal kit. Once again, it is very specific to these generations, so make sure you are ordering the right parts. Timing belt kit's gonna be another Company 23 575. Uh, water pump, thermostat, and gasket, you're gonna want those. You are going to have an oil cooler on the Forrester XT. Now with the Forrester XT's oil cooler, it has an adapter plate. So I did include the adapter plate on this parts list. It's not something that you absolutely need, but I have seen those damaged in the past where people do not have them and they're going to need to get a new one. So that part number is in there for well as, as well for you guys. So it'll be the oil cooler and the oil cooler adapter plate. Like I said, the adapter plate is only needed if yours is damaged. Uh, oil pan, I, I put in an OEM oil pan on this one. Once again, you can get Killer B, I, you can get whatever one you want. Oil filter, once again, ARP 11 millimeter head studs, NGK 2309s, modal 10W40 break-in fluid, and Fuji 3 bond. Once again, you're gonna need two to three gallons of coolant if you wanna include that in there. Next up, the 06 to 08 Forrester XT. All of these generations are very specific to year. So please, if you are buying parts, go to your specific car on this list. Do not try to pull parts from other years unless you're doing something like I said about the oil cooler thing on the 08 to 14 WRXs. The only difference here for the 04 or the 06 to 08 XT is going to be the gasket and seal kit. It's gonna be the same as the prior Forrester list with a different gasket and seal kit. Next up, we're gonna be doing Legacy GT and Outback XT. Now this is gonna be for 05 and 06 for these years. Uh, it's gonna be, once again, Type RA short block, OEM 11 millimeter oil pump, AVCS solenoids, you need two of them for the intake, AVCS intake cam gears, you're gonna need your gasket and seal kit, you're gonna need your timing belt kit, which for this one's gonna be a COP 575 again, your water pump, which has a provision for the oil cooler. So you do have an oil cooler on this car. For the oil pan, it is year specific. In this list, I have it for 05 and 06. If you have an 06 and you buy an 05 oil pan, it is not going to fit. If you have an 05 and you buy an 06 oil pan, it is not going to fit. So they, there is a difference between the 2005 and the 2006 setups where they do have different oil pans. Both of those are listed in there, so that way it'll make your life a little bit easier when you're ordering these parts. And then the same as all the others, 11 millimeter head studs, 
exhaust gasket kit, NGK 2309s, braking fluid, Fuji 3 bond. Now I'm not going to talk every car on the list. I'm still going to be adding cars in the future on this list. So if you see, if you have one that is not on this list and you want it added, feel free to let me know and I will get it added to this. Now the last one I'm gonna to touch on is the 2015 to the 2021 WRX with the FA20 DIT. This is different than all of the others. Now, when it comes to your short block, you can get OEM, I have OEM listed in here, or you can get aftermarket, IAG, out front, whatever one, whatever suits your tastes, whatever flavor you're kicking, are you smelling what I stepped in, are you picking up what I'm putting down, awesome. It's gonna be a little bit more expensive. It's similar to the 08 to 21 STIs. You're going to need four cam sprockets, intake, intake, exhaust, exhaust, because they still all flow oil through them. So you're gonna want your crankshaft idler pulley. That's something that you're gonna to want to replace on a rebuild. You're gonna have I'm not gonna go through them all. I listed every timing chain and timing chain guide that you're going to want. There are a lot of them. If you're doing a rebuild, don't reuse your guides, don't reuse your timing belt or your timing chain tensioners, don't reuse your chains, just get new ones. If you're putting a fresh engine together, you don't want any questions in your mind that something may go south and something that might go wrong. Gasket and seal kit, it's gonna be a little bit cheaper for these engines though because there's not as many seals and gaskets that you're gonna be needing. So that kit comes in a little bit cheaper. You're gonna have your water pump with an O-ring. It does not take a gasket, it takes an O-ring on this one. You're gonna have your thermostat and your gasket. For your VVT solenoids, you also need four of them. Similar to the 08 to 20, I don't know why I'm doing this so much. I'm knife handing you, I apologize. You're gonna need four of them as well. Since you have dual AVCS as well, you're gonna need all four solenoids to ensure that you don't got any metal going through anything. Now, I'm gonna leave it up to you if you wanna replace it. On all the FA20 builds I do for people, we replace them because there's no guarantee that you're gonna get them cleaned out. With the FA20s and the FA series engines, your oil pump is integrated into the front cover of your engine. When you have bad bearing failure, when you have failures of any type and it sends metal through the engine, you're going to get metal in that oil pump. It's natural, it's going to happen. It's pumping oil, it's gonna suck up oil, it's gonna get dirty oil, it's gonna get it in the oil pump, it's gonna send it through the engine. With that, it is very expensive. It is $900 for the oil pump and the front cover for the FA20 engine. I'm gonna leave it up to you. My advice would be replace it. You're already doing everything else. You're putting a new engine together. You want everything fresh. You want it tidy. You want it clean. You're gonna want your oil filter, your oil cooler, because you two have oil coolers. They're up top, relatively easy to replace. Engine oil pan. It's a very small oil pan. It's your secondary pan. You don't need to replace your main pan. Your main pan actually bolts to the engine. Your secondary pan is the one that's down below. You can clean it, replace it. It's up to you. I would suggest just replacing it at that point. But exhaust gasket kit. It's also provided by Grimspeed. Part number for that will be down below. Head studs. It's another ARP 11 millimeter, so head studs can't go wrong. NGK plugs. They are not NGK 2309s. I do not recall the part number. That might be 6024. Once again, modal, I use 10W40, even on FA20s. That's my braking fluid of choice. And then Fuji 3 Bond, you're gonna want another tube of it. Now, like I said, I'm not gonna go through every single car. I know you two liter bug eye owners and all of them, I will. I am working on your list. It will be up soon. The two liter with how short of a span they made them in the United States. Uh, some parts are discontinued, so I'm trying to put a comprehensive list together for you guys but that will be updated and down below in the description in the next couple of days after this video goes live. So I hope this video helps you on your rebuild. I went through Subaru site, pulled all of these part numbers individually for these chassis. So these part numbers are 100%. If a part number is superseded by a new part, if you take the part number that is in our list and you Google it, it should still come up with the predecessor, the predecessor, the successor of the old part. So this list should be good for a very long time and I don't see Subaru making any changes to their cars now that they've discontinued making the EJ stuff in their production cars. So. With that, that is all I've got for you guys on this one. I hope this video helps you guys out on your rebuilds. I hope it gives you a clear and co 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 cohesive goal of what parts you need to order. And like I said, this is the bare minimum of what I suggest you order to get your car back up on the road. If you want to add mods, you want to do all that other stuff as you're doing the rebuild by all means, but this is the meat and potatoes of every single rebuild that should be getting done. So. With that, that's all I got for you guys on this one. If you liked the video, if it helped you, go ahead and hit that like button, turn it black, blue, green, yellow, purple, silver, side, and whatever color it turns to you. If you're not already subscribed to the channel and you want to be able to put it in one of these corners, no idea which one quite yet, but with that, I will catch you guys in the next one. So peace out, homies. Woo!